So I've been tagged not only by him, but by Rachel. By Rachel from Rachel's Eight Legged Wonders. And this is part of the tarantula tag that was started by Tarantula Cat. So we thank her for that. And uh, I have to hold him while I do this because if I don't, he's going to bite me. The first question is, what got you into tarantulas? It started when fall rolled around this last, this last fall. And all of my um, Arrhenius diadematis garden spiders died off for the winter or the fall. And I was used to checking on them every day and I really missed that. And I feel really cooped up during the winter time. You know, honestly, the ducks don't really like winter. I don't think we like winter, the animals and I. Maybe my dog is the one who likes winter the most. So, I just started watching YouTube videos and I don't remember exactly how it led to watching a lot of tarantula videos, but I did watch um, Petco, The Dark Day, and I watched Exotics Lair. And I started to become more and more intrigued and curious. And I started to wonder if maybe I couldn't have a tarantula. Um, and at first it seemed far-fetched in my mind, you know, like, would I be able to do that? Like, it's a totally different thing than having a spider outside. And I became more and more excited about it. And I watched more videos, and soon I, I decided that, okay, if I'm gonna do this, let me let me find a tarantula that's not gonna scare me. So I, I did that. Doing research and being new, I wanted something that was um, reputed to be docile. So I really fell in love with the Grandma Stola Pulchra. And then I checked around, and they weren't available anywhere. Um, I was just learning, you know, what a sling was. I was learning um, where they were from, about New World, Old World. I knew nothing in depth, especially what the market was like, you know, that the Grandma Sola Pulchra was, was expensive and that they were hard to find. So I ended up ordering a Grandma Stola Poker Peas. That was my first tea, and that is a little thing. And um, that was in December, right around Christmas time last year. And right after that, I ended up with a uh, Grandma Stola Poker by accident. What is my favorite species? It seems that I'm finding, finding a new species that intrigues me all the time. And not to say that there isn't going to be a limit. And as I've gone along and, and um, acclimated myself, I am finding that some species that I never thought I would be interested in are interesting to me because they don't scare me anymore. Out of the tarantulas I have, the Grandma Stola Pulchra is interesting. It's always on display. And it makes me laugh because it has these quirks one of the things that it does is it throws the trash out. So if it eats inside of its den, it will deposit the bolus outside. Like, hey, this trash needs to be as far away from my room as I want, as I can get it, and you need to take care of it. And also, it likes to scurry away really fast. This makes me laugh sometimes, because you just turn around and he's poised, you know, to run into the burrow. And, you know, it's kind of cute. And, uh, I really like my a phonopel macalcades. She's beautiful. She's calm. She's just a great tarantula. I really can't pick a favorite um, yet. Maybe I'm just too new and I need more experience over time. Maybe I can come back and, and talk about what has become my favorite and why. But that's going to be in the future.
what is my dream tarantula? I had to think about this one for a minute because I didn't want to just say one. Um, I want to have an M. Balfouri communal with six tarantulas in it. I even have a stump picked out for them. Also, I'm really interested in the Harpectura pulchropes. Uh, this beautiful baboon species is gold with looks like feather fringe on their legs and brilliant blue um, on the top of the legs and it, it looks flat and iridescent and I am really interested in having a female of that species so those would be my dream tarantulas. How many teas do you have? I think I have 17 and I think it's probably going to surprise, um, surprise a lot of you. Introduce you to a tarantula. So let's go do that. Here's my grandma stole a pulchra and this one is affectionately known as the snot gurgle. Snot gurgles were a kind of super troll from a children's book that wasn't exactly a children's book because it was kind of frightening and it was called gnomes and it had all kinds of wonderful illustrations in it and trolls like to catch the gnomes and do things like pull their pants down and put their butts on a grinding stone and the snot gurgle was even more feared than the troll because that was a children's book that my grandma shared with me I just think of it as an affectionate type of name and so just having snot gurgle be the name for my grandma stole a pulchra, it just makes me laugh. Feed a tarantula. Let's go do that. So I am going to feed my La Ciodora parahybana. Oh, we got a happy dance. What is your favorite tarantula YouTube channel? I guess this is kind of a multifaceted answer because when I first started out, I was pretty clear on which ones were my favorite. I watched The Dark Den, The Exotic's Lair, and I watched some others, and they were interesting to me. And I'm not sure if it just came down to the quality of editing and, you know, the photography. So it was very good for me um, getting used to tarantulas and being exposed to them a lot. And then Dark Den was very good um, for me to learn the how-to's. And then as time has gone on and I became part of the Tarantula YouTube community, I'm finding that I'm, I really enjoy the community aspect of um, YouTube, the Tarantula community, and, and I'm making some new friends, getting to know some new people, and I like watching their videos for just the overall content. I'm really enjoying watching people open up and grow and learn from each other and talk to each other and refer to each other and connect. There's one channel that really stands out to me now uh, with, a, with just a depth of knowledge and, and I'm intrigued because I keep finding out new things uh, um, this person has to offer and that is Tom Moran. So yeah, I just found out that Tom's an artist. Um, he writes he writes all these blogs. They're wonderful. I mean, he just goes back a long way. Um, and and yeah, I just I just learned so much. And and so I've really come to value his channel quite a bit. Do I have any other exotic pets? Fred? Um, yeah, there they go single file. You know, I value them for their personalities and um, their, their the society that they have, uh, the way they interact with each other. I also have koi. I have a couple of betta fish.
and I have a a big black <coughs> creature that I call the panther, and he's my my <coughs> master lab mix. And he's it's about ten years old now. And wonderful, <coughs> wonderful dog. I used to keep Rottweilers. Um, I kept Rottweilers for gosh, since 1997 until just maybe a year ago, my last one passed away. Question from Rachel of Rachel's Eight-Legged Wonders was, do I have scorpions and do I plan on getting any? I have actually thought about it. I mean, I've never really researched it and really looked into it, but it definitely has crossed my mind. And I would not be surprised if I do get a scorpion. Um, I definitely have thought about getting a tailless whip scorpion. I find it fascinating. Um, so I don't know if that, that counts as a true scorpion. I haven't done that research yet, but yeah. So the, the answer is yes. What I have left to do is ask a question to a person that I tag. And the person that I'm going to tag is Spidey B. Oh, is that a surprise to you? Anyway, I'm gonna tag him because I'm I'm Spidey Mom. Anyway, <laughs> um, so I know he's been waiting, and um, I'm happy happy to to tag him. I really support his channel. Um, I think he's a very dear person, and. I just love seeing his videos. My question for Spidey V is, um, how is keeping tarantulas benefiting you or enhancing your skills? <coughs> you started keeping tarantulas, have you gained any new skills or do you feel that in some way your life is enriched? You know, the, the, your personal skill level, and these could be skills that you could transfer to something else, um, just based on um, this new hobby that you're taking on and being part of the YouTube community. So that's the question that I have for Spidey B. And I hope that you've enjoyed um, my tarantula kind of questions. Um, check out Spidey B's channel, check out Rachel and Rachel's Eight Legged Wonders. And definitely check out Tarantula Cat, you will not be disappointed. Um, thank you so much. I think that's a roach having a baby there.